experience the breathtaking spectacle as five starships gently land on the Martian surface, marking the birth of a new era for the Red Planet. All around the globe, a diverse array of Martian rovers, dispatched by nations near and far, eagerly witness the descent of these five uncrewed starships. Their vital mission? To deliver cutting-edge life support systems, paving the way for human landings in a mere two years, flourishing fish farms in nine years, and the joyous arrival of the first Martian-born baby in just 15 years. Be part of the cosmic celebration. Subscribe to Cosmic Discovery on YouTube and join us in applauding these trailblazing starships that are shaping the exciting future of humanity on Mars. The five-star chariots gracefully touch down at Erebus Montes, laden with the essentials that will breathe life into our Martian dreams. What's in their cosmic cargo? Vital life support systems, solar panels, backup fuel, oxygen, water, delectable dried food, waste management wizardry, spacesuits, medical marvels, and the very first habitation pods. And that's not all. There's an arsenal of tools for groundbreaking experiments. But wait, there's more. One of these starships is on a mission to deliver Mars's spanking new Starlink communications network. Before even settling on the Martian surface, it gracefully deploys in orbit. Would you believe it only takes four satellites to weave the Martian Starlink magic? Why, you ask? Because our Mars base is focused in one spot, like a cosmic hub. And here's a stat that'll make your jaw drop. There are seven football fields worth of solar panels on that cargo list. These bad boys will power our future Martian base and fuel production. Keep in mind, though, that Mars isn't as keen on solar panels as Earth is. They're only 43% as efficient here. But the excitement doesn't stop there. Imagine this. Rovers and even robotic dogs by Boston Dynamics. Yes, the same ones that inspect SpaceX rockets on Earth are unleashed onto the Martian canvas. Their mission? To kickstart the setup of our Mars base. Solar arrays deploy, fuel production experiments kick off, and rovers drill into icy water deposits. Enter the Saboteur process. It swoops up CO2 from the Martian atmosphere and pairs it with hydrogen mined from Martian icy water. The result? Water oxygen, and methane fuel. Talk about turning Martian ingredients into magic. But that's not all. Multi-use rovers get to work, flattening and melting the Martian regolith. That's the fancy term for loose soil. Why? To prep a vast, flat landing pad that reduces the kick-up of dirt and rocks, making future landings safer. Now here's a fun fact. The current population on Mars, it's a robot party. Years and two months have zipped by since those first five starships graced the Martian surface. And guess what? The cosmic calendar is opening a new launch window. Earth and Mars once again are cozying up in space, ready for the next chapter in our interplanetary saga. A cosmic convoy of starships, carrying a grand total of 30 intrepid astronauts, touches down on the Martian surface. But that's not all. They're accompanied by 10 extra cargo ships loaded to the brim with an oversupply of life support, ensuring these pioneers are equipped for their daring mission. Among the astronaut settlers are scientists, engineers, medical specialists, and military personnel with scientific expertise. Brace yourself because they're not just making a pit stop. This is a full-blown two-year and two-month commitment to making life sustainable and forging a multi-planetary future. The first week on Mars isn't a walk in the park. After a seven-month space journey, the astronauts grapple with the effects of low gravity, leaving their muscles a bit weaker. But fear not, as the initial days are dedicated to acclimating to the Martian gravity and celebrating the triumph of surviving the journey. 
the settlers make their temporary home in the very starships that brought them, gradually adapting to the harsh Martian environment. Life on Mars isn't a tropical vacation, mind you. Outside, temperatures plummet to a bone-chilling minus 63 degrees Celsius, minus 81 degrees Fahrenheit, with a summer high of 20 degrees Celsius, 68 degrees Fahrenheit, at the equator. Windstorms regularly sweep rust-colored dust into the atmosphere, shrouding the entire planet. Mars doesn't shy away from a little seismic activity either, but fear not. Orbiters keep a close eye, acting as weather satellites to warn of impending dust storms and atmospheric changes. Now let the two-year work saga commence. Martian days stretch just over 24 hours, making unpacking and heavy lifting a tad more manageable with Mars's gravity at a mere 38% of Earth's. Once life support is up and running, the focus shifts to testing and kickstarting the production of cryomethane fuel, the key to the return journey home. In the spirit of innovation, a small crew dives into experiments, turning Martian soil into a 3D printing material. The green project takes root as settlers cultivate Martian soil, experimenting with genetically engineered plants and testing cyanobacteria to produce ammonia fertilizer from the Martian atmosphere's nitrogen. Soon, Mars will have its own green oasis, with crops like rye, radishes, tomatoes, beans, carrots, and potatoes flourishing. And get this, the astronauts' waste becomes a valuable resource, recycled as fertilizer for the budding Martian garden. Back on Earth, SpaceX is on a roll, churning out two starships a week at a cost of $5 million each. With a whopping 104 starships built annually, 216 are prepped for launch at each window. Speaking of windows, Earth and Mars only align for launch every two years and two months, offering a mere handful of days, as few as 12 for liftoff, with only four launch opportunities daily. The launch window spans a mere 30 minutes to two hours, so a fleet of cargo and crewed starships stands ready, eagerly awaiting their cosmic cue. And as the grand finale on Mars, a lone starship launches back to Earth, cradling the entire 30-person crew who've called the Red Planet home for over two incredible years. Now that's a cosmic odyssey worth tuning into. With the touchdown of the second wave of settlers, humans have officially taken the lead as the majority population on Mars, outpacing our robotic companions. Among the newcomers is the first architect, accompanied by four visionary individuals who've each invested a cool $50 million. Joining them are a stellar crew of scientists, engineers, and botanist farmers, bringing a diverse skill set to the Red Planet. The landscape of Mars is transforming as the pioneers construct the first set of small permanent greenhouse domes, expanding the range of plants cultivated on the Martian soil. Picture this, the settlers indulging in the inaugural Martian salad, a delectable dish crafted from locally grown produce. This marks the beginning of a shift, gradually reducing the reliance on Earth for sustenance. Meanwhile, SpaceX kicks off the construction of Depot X, Mars's inaugural permanent fueling station, and lays the foundation for the first ever 3D printed habitat. The AI Space Factory 3D printer ingeniously combines Martian soil with lab-grown plants, acting as the glue that binds the material. The outer shell of the habitat, a product of the 3D printer, shields inhabitants from radiation, while an inflatable inner layer adds an extra layer of safety. Parts salvaged from one of the starships are repurposed to create the essential communications and life support systems for the new habitat. Enter a new era of sophisticated 3D printing robots, constructing larger hydroponic crop facilities that become the primary source of sustenance for the Martian settlers. Kimball Musk and his team even set up their own vertical farm on Mars, pushing the boundaries of agriculture in the cosmos. Underground digging becomes a testing ground for habitat purposes, with data transmitted back to Earth's boring company, thanking space agencies worldwide for their collaborative efforts. In a groundbreaking move, Jeff Bezos registers the domain name 
Amazon Mars, while Blue Origin plans to open up Mars delivery services, initially for space agencies and eventually for private clients. The latest Starship crew brings fish from Earth, establishing an aquaponic greenhouse fueled by the increasing availability of water on Mars. The settlers hold the first funeral, commemorating a cremated individual whose ashes are spread across the Martian landscape. Back on Earth, a fleet of starships loaded with fuel, cargo, and passengers hovers in low Earth orbit, ready to embark on a collective journey to Mars when the launch window aligns. This monumental year, 2035, is hailed as the Great Crossing, a time when Earth and Mars draw closer during a perihelic opposition, shortening the journey from seven to five months. As the fleet arrives, hundreds of settlers touch down on the Red Planet. Enter a new era of growth as autonomous industrial-scale 3D printers shape the landscape, turning the international habitat into a town-sized settlement of interconnected domes. The construction of the first Martian hospital commences, and more and more individuals choose to call Mars home as the settlement expands with new facilities. The Red Planet is buzzing with life and innovation, marking a chapter in history as humanity boldly paves the way for an interplanetary future. Get ready for the Martian Milestone Extravaganza! The pioneers with dreams of becoming permanent residents touch down on Mars, pushing the colony's population past the 1,000 mark. Cue the small-scale TV show, beamed from the Red Planet itself, capturing the attention of Earth and Mars. Witness the first Martian marriage, uniting hearts across the two planets. Meanwhile, exploration missions unveil cave systems tailor-made for crafting shielded underground habitats. Enter Elon Musk's Boring Mars Company as its tunnel digger arrives, testing the ground for passageways and underground habitat construction. Robotic bases scatter around, serving as mining outposts, while nation-states erect smaller habitats, morphing into Martian embassies that double as architectural expressions of national pride. Newsflash. The first Martian is born. Scientists meticulously study the mother and baby as a growing number of newcomers become commercial customers, paying for a two-year stay. The Mars Society burgeons to over 7,000 residents, birthing the first Martian political system. Local policies take root, steering the colony towards self-sustainability. In a culinary breakthrough, Mars welcomes its first restaurant serving bioprinted food, including lab-grown meat. The arrival of the first bioprinter at the hospital sparks experimentation in human part printing. A dedicated maternity ward springs to life, addressing the surge in Martian births. And the power game evolves. Construction begins on the first nuclear fusion power plant, reducing dependence on additional solar panels from Earth. Fast forward to Year of the Martian Explorers, where a fearless soul conquers Olympus Mons, the solar system's tallest mountain and volcano. A fully operational mRNA manufacturing facility vaccinates Martians for their return to Earth. Schools sprout up as families migrate, and Blue Origin's orbiting manufacturing station processes asteroids for rare materials, keeping Mars in the interplanetary loop. In 51, brace yourself for the second Great Crossing. Tens of thousands land on the Red Planet, bringing with them government officials, mining companies, and the essential brains behind AI robotics. Mars emerges as a self-sufficient haven, producing everything from power to food, but with a primitive twist the need for Earth's advanced electronics. And for the grand celebration of 10,000 days of Martian habitation, the first Mars-born human pays a visit to Earth. Assisted by a robotic suit controlled by a Neuralink brain chip, this traveler strolls Earth's grasslands, a stark contrast to Mars's enclosed greenhouse domes where grass and woody plants thrive. These green havens, built over melted ice lakes, are slowly infusing oxygen into the Martian atmosphere. But hold on, because the real game-changer unfolds. Wild strands of grass are spotted on the Martian surface, courtesy of seedlings escaping from the greenhouse domes daring to thrive in the Martian wild. Mars, you've come a long way, and the journey is only getting started. <laughs>